Hey, Vision Chasers, it's Dr. Bird here. You know, with chasing your vision of success, it's almost like the game of football. So see in your mind the football field, right? We've got the end zone and in between we've got the field and the field is marked, every yard is marked with these lines of chalk. And the reason they mark the, the lines is so that the referees and the teams can track their progress towards the ultimate goal. And the ultimate goal is the end zone, which is your vision of success. So when it comes to chasing your vision of success, this is your end zone. You start on the one yard line. And the reason you start on the one yard line is because when you enter the world, you don't have all the skills, the knowledge and all the resources you need in order to successfully chase your vision of success. You know, as time goes by, you acquire those things. You acquire those skills that you need in order to successfully chase that vision of success. And the reason people struggle is because they don't understand the value of moving just a little bit closer. You see, this isn't that that wasn't fast enough for people. Some people, they just get so frustrated because they have to deal with certain things like like going to school, like dealing with these adults because these adults do way too much and, and, and dealing with with all these rules that don't make any sense. People people struggle chasing the vision of success because they don't see the meaning in it. They don't see the value with moving just a little bit closer. But you see, vision chasers, on the other hand, vision chasers, on the other hand, they understand that with each and every day, you have the opportunity to move closer. And vision chasers, they're OK. They understand that even though they may have just moved one yard closer to their vision of success, they understand that they're one yard closer than they were yesterday. Vision chasers understand that they get closer when they make more good decisions than bad decisions. Vision chasers understand that they get closer when they are not led by their emotions, when they're making sure that their mind is straightened, that they're always thinking so that they don't make poor decisions based on their emotions. Vision chasers understand that they can get just a little bit closer to their vision of success when they find good people and they call them friends, those people who are going to push them to be better, those people that are going to encourage them to do positive things and people who are going to encourage them to move closer to their vision of success. You know, another reason that people struggle with moving closer to their vision of success is because of the pain of failure. Well, let me tell you about failure. In 1901, Wilbur Wright, yes, that Wilbur Wright from the Wright brothers, he, in 1901, he told his brother, he said that, you know what, I, I don't think, I, I think this flight thing, this man-made flight thing, I think is 50 years away. I just, I don't know if we're going to make it. That, that Wilbur Wright said that. And guess what? Just two years later, Two years later, the world will, re will remember the Wright brothers name forever because on a windy day in North Carolina, they accomplished their dream. They met their vision of success because they were the ones who were the first to build a successfully flying man made flying machine. They did it. Now, 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 now keep this in mind, keep this in mind, because they had this goal way back in 1878 when they were get, given a, a toy helicopter by their father. They were they were amused and they said, you know what, this is this is what we're supposed to do. So in 1878, between 1878 and 1903, they were OK with moving just a little bit closer, just a little bit closer closer to their vision of success throughout the highs throughout the lows they were okay we're moving closer so that day in 1901 that must have been a really 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 bad day for the Wright brothers that must have been a, a huge failure if he was if he if he said we were 50 years off boy how how bad that must have felt but you know what the next day, when his eyes opened, he realized this is what vision chasers do. He realized, wait a second, through that failure, we got closer. 
Yes, that's what vision chasers believe about failure. They, they understand that throughout the awkwardness, throughout the embarrassment, you can move closer through failure. And I tell you this often, failure, failure gives you feedback and feedback gives you the opportunity to try again with better information. And the Wright brothers understood this. They had a moment, they had a moment of doubt, but then that next day he snapped himself out of it and said, wait a second, we moved closer. And so I want you to make sure you get your mind right and keep it right. Because though you may not be 100% happy with the pace at which life is going, you may not be 100% happy with the, the, the pace at which you're moving closer to your vision of success, you need to know that you are getting there. You're getting closer. And with each and every step, with each and every yard, you get closer, you're getting better so that once you finally reach your vision of success, you can surpass that. You can go far beyond your, your wildest imaginations. There's no telling how far you can go if you listen to what I'm telling you, if you get your mind right, if you keep it straight and, and focus yourself on mastering the journey and getting closer each and every day, each and every moment you're getting closer. Failure it doesn't bother you. It's just a moment. It's not final. You can get closer. Well, think about that. And until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. Bye.